Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, I'm going to answer the common questions that I was getting regarding this Mi A2 and I have been using this device with my primary SIM that is Airtel for the last six days. So I'll be answering your questions and I'll also be answering some of the pointers that I have noticed, some very, very peculiar issues that I noticed when I was using this device. But first, let me actually answer the questions that you guys have asked. And the first question that I uh, got was from uh, Anurag and he's asking, how's the sound output through the primary speaker? Because the previous Mi A1 gave good audio of the sound from the primary speaker. How many hours of SOT do you get on a single charge? I'll talk about the battery life at the later part of the video. Yes, first let's talk about the sound output from the single speaker. Yes, it just has a single speaker over here, but the sound quality is actually good and it's actually very loud. And it also has slight depth towards it. So yes, don't have to worry about the sound from the speaker. It is loud and clear, though it's a single speaker. Moving to the next point, uh, that is by Mr. Bandhan, he's asking, uh, what uh, about its display quality and battery backup? Does it last for a full working day? And also does it support quick charging four or only quick charging three? Uh, the thing is that uh, uh, regarding the display, again, I'm not very happy with the display. Uh, the display quality is fine because we don't know the pricing of this phone. Uh, it's supposed to be a mid-range phone. So again, it's a full HD display that you are get getting. But in terms of brightness, I'm not very happy with this display and also the auto brightness calibration is one of the worst among Xiaomi devices. It's simply not well calibrated in auto brightness and also in outdoor uh, conditions when I was taking some sample shots outdoor, even when I was keeping at maximum brightness, the screen when we were using the camera was not very bright. So uh, it's okay display I would say if you use it indoors but outdoors I'm not happy with the display. And regarding quick charge support, uh, uh, I didn't check with the quick charge 4 because I don't have a quick charge uh, 4. Uh, I did check it with the Qualcomm quick charge 2 and 3. It worked. But uh, uh, the charger that you're getting in the box is not a quick charger, not even a basic Qualcomm quick charger 2. You're getting a normal 2 amp charger in the box. Again, you can check it. Guys can check out the unboxing video that I posted about uh, 10 days ago. Uh, this is by Mr. Uh, Verman. He's asking, how is the battery life? Yes, this is a big question. I got this question from quite a few of you. And I was also actually very worried when I got this device. Just 3000 milliamp hour battery. And because generally Xiaomi phones comes with 4000 milliamp hour, even more. So again, I was also very skeptical about the battery life. Uh, but again, I'm surprised that the battery life is okay. Yeah, it's not spectacular, I would say. But for a full working day, it would last. I would say, as you can see, uh, these are some of the battery stats. And this was almost on 4G 95% of the time. Then also, as you can see, I got the screen on time of over slightly above five hours. And in terms of standby time, the standby time is actually really good on this device. As you can see, almost over two days of screen uh, standby time. So yes, it will last, uh, if you are sort of a heavy, very heavy user, yes, you might have to talk. But for most normal users, it will last for a typical day. But again, if we compare it with the Redmi Note 5 uh, Pro, Yes, the Redmi Note 5 Pro will give you better battery life. In terms of screen on time, I would say this Redmi Note 5 Pro will give you almost two hours extra screen on time compared to this one. But again, considering a 3000 milliamp hour battery, it did a lot better than my expectation. I was expecting only four hours of screen on time, but I'm getting just slightly over five hours. So that's what it is. Again, notice that auto brightness very flaky on this device. I don't know why. Uh, this is by Nitesh Kapoor. Uh, as the graphics on PUBG are limited to particular phone, how much graphics can the phone handle? HDR or UHD? These phones do not have HDR or UHD. Only the flagships like the Samsung flagships have uh, HDR capability. So don't expect HDR features on this phone or any other mid-range smartphone. So yeah, it doesn't have HDR or UHD. It's a full HD screen that you can uh, will be getting on this one. So yeah, uh, let me make that very clear. No UHD or HDR. Uh, let's move to the next one. This is by, uh, this is an interesting question. This is by Kef. He's asking the GSM Anira review says that it has a subpar display and battery life. Can you please confirm for the Indian model? Regarding the battery life, as I mentioned, uh, it's okay. It's not as bad as I was expecting. It will last for a typical working day and about five hours of screen on time to find how fast that you can get. So yeah, that's typically okay, I would say. But screen, yes, as I told you, the screen is I don't like it. It's dull. And again, the auto brightness, again, as you can see, just popped. So 
uh, yeah, in terms of screen quality, it's not bad, 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 I would say. But yeah, if you mostly use your phone in outdoor conditions, yes, the screen brightness is simply not that great. And even the auto brightness sensor is not well calibrated. This is by Abhiraj. He's asking any heating issues. Uh, did you notice while playing heavy games and charging the phone? Uh, and regarding uh, games, I didn't. Uh, but again, one thing I noticed is that this handset tends to get a little bit warm and you can feel the heat at the back. If you're heavily using it, when I was heavily using it, heavily multitasking, using Instagram, doing this, loading heavy web pages, the handset tends to get actually pretty warm at the back and you can notice the heat with this. I will have to do gaming and see with continuous 15 minutes of heavy gaming, does it heat up too much? But yeah, even with normal usage, if you're doing heavy usage, in fact, I would say, yes, the handset tends to uh, heat. And in fact, if you do actually do a lot of gaming, uh, I think so the battery will drop uh, quite a bit. Uh, so let's move to the next one. So in that respect, I would say the Redmi Note 5 Pro because of this bigger battery and stuff might be better for gaming. Uh, this is by uh, Manoj. He's asking what about video stability and gaming? Gaming again, uh, I'll talk uh, later when I test it. Regarding the video stability, again, uh, I tested it and here are two samples uh, for the video stability. Some of you have asked about the video, so I'm shooting this video and this is an artificial lighting as you can see in my office and I'm shooting it in 4K as you can see I'm just walking. So this should give you an idea about the video recording guys and this is in 4K. Now I'm recording this sample at 1080p and again I have checked back the video stabilization option. So yeah as you can see I'm just doing the same thing. You guys be a judge about the video recording in terms of focusing again no issues as you can see it's fast to focus it takes about half a second as you can see and you have the tap to focus it didn't focus there automatically but yeah you also have the tap to focus so yeah so that's what it is regarding the video recording. So as you can see, in terms of video stability, yes, it has video stability, but the video is a lot more stable at 1080p uh, rather than 4K. 4K, even with the stabilization option, we noticed that it was slightly more jerky. Now moving to the next one, this is by uh, Sai Tiger. He's asking, does it come with a fast charger? And how's, no, it does not come with a fast charger. The charger that is supplied in the box is a normal two amp charger, not even a Qualcomm quick charger. So if you want fast charging, you have to buy the fast charger separately. It will be extra cost for you guys. Uh, this is by Vijay. He's asking, which is the best uh, pick between Redmi Note 5 Pro 15,000 or the Mi A2 at 17? We don't know the pricing of the Mi A2. It will be announced tomorrow. That is August 8th. There is an event by Xiaomi. There they'll be announcing the pricing. So I don't know the pricing of this one. But uh, as I've used both these devices now, I would say uh, this uh, Redmi Note 5 Pro is more practical device compared to the Mi A2. Unless you want that stock Android experience. Apart from that, I would say this is a, fu a more fuller package in my frank opinion and in terms of camera performance also both of them are actually very close i didn't notice that the camera performance on this is way more superior compared to the redmi note 5 uh, pro but again regarding the pricing i don't want to comment we'll know the pricing tomorrow uh this is by af atef he's asking how is the ram management and the battery backup battery backup i've already mentioned regarding ram management here again i'm very very surprised that the RAM management is not good, even though this is Android one device. It tends to actually uh, load out apps out of memory very quickly within 10 minutes of not using it. And I found it very irritating. In fact, I've used a lot of smartphones that are not even Android one device that have four gigabytes of RAM and they do a far better job in terms of RAM management compared to this one. It's not a total deal breaker, but uh, frankly speaking, I'm not impressed with the RAM management on this. Maybe they can fix this with a software update. But as of now, uh, the RAM management is not that good it's not a deal breaker i would say but again that can be fixed with the software update and i'm hoping xiaomi will release a software update. uh let's move to the next one this is by preet he's asking does it have a uh, physical led notification light yes it does have a physical led notification light and it works out of the box uh, this is by Prati. Uh, How is the network connectivity as compared to Honor Play? I usually feel the Honor devices are great in terms of network uh, connectivity. In terms of network connectivity, I had no problems. I'm testing this one with Airtel uh, 4G. And yeah, at least in Hyderabad, no issues uh, with the network reception. Uh, I did take a lot of calls, but again, there is one con that I mentioned. And uh, there are two more questions uh, that you guys have posted, but let me actually first now talk about some of the observations that I have noticed. Uh, I've already mentioned about the screen auto brightness issue. It's very buggy on this device. One of the worst that I've seen on a Xiaomi device. I don't know why. I'm uh, hoping again this uh, 
I uh, hope uh, they fixed this with the software update. Another big deal breaker for me was the proximity sensor on this device. It's very bad. In fact, when I was taking calls, most of the time the screen will just light up. It was going on speaker phone, etc. So the proximity sensor is not that good. I thought it might be just a, a issue with my unit. So I checked with Amit Bhavani because I know he's also had this device and he also complained uh, the same thing about the proximity issue. So yes, that's an issue. Again, I don't know if they can fix that with a software update or not, but that is actually really, really annoying on this phone. Any long calls, the screen will just light up. It'll go on speaker, phone, etc. Also, uh, while heavily using it, the handset tends to get a little bit warm. So I will have to test how it does with very heavy, heavy gaming. I will do that when I post my full review. And I also hate the fact that it does not have a proper 3.5 mm headphone jack, which was the speciality of the Mi A1. I would say the Mi A1, uh, uh, the headphone jack was one of the best that I have tested. But here you have to use that silly dongle uh, to get the 3.5 mm headphone jack. And uh, so yeah, I really hate that thing. And uh, uh, lastly, it's the memory management issue that I'm also facing. It's not terrible, but again, it's not good for an Android One device. And I would say the key would be the pricing of this device. Tomorrow on August 8th, we will know the pricing of this device. And again, I, I, I won't uh, give my verdict as of now unless I know the pricing. And I feel uh, now because the Honor has lost the Honor Play at 20,000, which has the current 970 SoC, which is sim actually uh, very close to the Snapdragon 835 in performance. Xiaomi has to be really aggressive with this device because this comes with the Snapdragon 660 uh, processor. So again, we'll know the pricing tomorrow. And now two more questions that you guys posted. So let me actually take them. This is by Bhavesh. He asks, Mi A2, does it stand itself apart from its predecessor or it's just an upgrade? And with the new uh, aggressive strategy of Honor in Asus phones, do you think Xiaomi will have the same market or is beginning uh, of what happened to the Micro Max? I don't think so. They will fade away like Micro Max. It won't happen. But yeah, definitely uh, we are seeing Xiaomi this year is not very aggressive in the pricing. So I don't know how would they price this Mi A2. And again, yes, now they can't take the market for granted uh, Asus came in the market and now even, even Honor I didn't expect that the Honor play they'll price at 20,000 is a very aggressive price point so it'll uh, be a very tough competition for this Mi A2 let's see what they do with the pricing and there is also one more question and I would say this is the conclusion uh, for this one he says the Mr. Kartikin Gupta he says if Mi A2 is priced at 18,000 then it has to be kept in mind that it lacks the fast charger in the box lacks headphone jack as well as no expandable memory just for stock Android expansion experience this is surely a problem for me a2 i fully agree with you so again i would say it will uh, depend on the pricing of the me a2 and guys uh, tomorrow is the official launch i also don't know what is the pricing but what do you think would be the pricing of the me a2 in india would love to know your thoughts so do share those thoughts in the youtube comment section below so guys that's it for now for this video and you guys are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys